guys, it's the Cardis, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Millennium playing cards. This is the prototype. I want to quickly say I'm filming this at night, and I'm filming it in my room. Um, so yeah, sorry, it's not a studio setup, but basically, today, I've just got I've, got I've been so busy, and I can't really set up the kind of video for today. But today, I'm going to review the prototype. There's not much to it, but I hope you guys enjoy this video either way. So obviously this is the prototype, so there's a few features, it's on Kickstarter at the moment, I've got my computer here, um, it will actually when it's designed and funded on Kickstarter, it will actually have the thin border, um, it's metallic inks, but obviously this one doesn't really have that, uh, a bicycle, um, basically a normal stock, a bicycle crush stock, um, and it has printed by USPCC as well. There's not a lot of information to the Kickstarter I'd have to say. It's a simplistic deck of cards. I was approached on Instagram for this, um, and it's quite, it's an interesting deck of cards, I have to admit. The, um, I'm trying to think what to really think. The finish is fully custom, uh, a finish by, and printed by USBCC. Kickstarter wise, it is, if you want to check it out, link in the description below. I like the deck, got to admit. It is on at the moment, it's been 10 days, and it's only got 1,300, just dropped the deck on the floor, and it does require 14,000, so yeah. So they need a lot more money, um, and I thought I'd review the prototype, just to maybe help it out. It is a very nice deck of cards. Um, so this video is gonna be a non-edited raw video, so hopefully you guys like this. Let's test this out, you guys may like it, because when I do, if I ever decide to do 365 days of videos, it's gonna be like this, just raw, non-edited, because it's so much to do. So basically, let's get on with this. Now this deck is actually quite a really interesting deck. The colouring of the back design, as you can see, we'll start off with the back, is quite a unique back design. It has a nice white border going round with this interesting kind of like circles that come to bigger circles. It reminds me a lot like the Tally Ho, as you can see there. You can make that out for yourself. Very simplistic deck of cards. Um, there's not much to really go on about that there. Very simplistic. Then, obviously, for some reason I received, this is what the tuck case will look like. It will not look like the way that mine looked, because obviously that would be bad. But this is what the tuck case will look like. There you go, so that's what the tuck case will look like there. But then also I received um, only one joker, and then this is what the joker is. Really, really simple, it has joker, joker. And then it has the design, the orange, uh, the sorry, the goldy colour to it with the circles, which does repeat from the front and to the back. The Ace of Spades, you can see that the pips are custom. I may be faded, but this is just to show you the deck. You can see the pips are custom. There you can see it does have the Ace of Spades there. Really, really cool with the gold colour to the deck. Very simplistic, very simple. But then obviously you guys do actually like that kind of style sometimes. Um, but that's the deck. We're going to move on to the spades. Um, you can see that these have got quite small pips the whole way through. These really intricate small pips that go the whole way through the deck. There's not much to them, very simplistic what the deck is actually going for. Then you have the royalty, this was all designed like by himself, really, really cool. As you can see the coloring they've used and the faces, they're all custom. So really, really stunning. I'll move on to the rest of the deck to show you. You can see this continues the whole way through for even the hearts. It's got the custom pit placement as well, which is awesome. I love to see that in the deck. You can see the custom ace of hearts there as well. Moving on to the diamonds, you can see the whole way through the diamonds as well. This continues with this intricate design. Then you get the custom, oh, sorry, the clubs. Yeah, these were the clubs, not the diamonds. <laughs> and then you can see it continues the whole way through with the diamonds, there you go. And the custom pit placement the whole way through. All round, this deck is a really awesome deck of cards. It's very simplistic and very simple, but at the same time, it's just a standard deck. Like, there's not really much to talk about it because it's just simplistic, it's unique. It's different to the ones on the market. I haven't really owned a deck like this, um, but at the same time, it is on Kickstarter if you want to pick it up. So, if you guys would like 365 days of like kind of the, like videos, reviews, they would be kind of shot like this. So, what do you guys think? Would you want that? Would you not? 
comment down below because if so I am considering doing 365 days of like deck reviews and videos which will start on the 1st so I'm considering doing it if you guys would like me to do that comment down below but at the moment this is the actual deck if you guys like this then I'll leave the link in the description below for you guys to back this but if not I've got a prototype um, and this one is six of six so there's six prototypes so maybe if you can um, it'd be good if you can pick one up at the moment the Kickstarter is quite quite a lot you can get there's one left you can get one of these for six dollars um, and then you can get another one for $6. They're basically selling for $6 a deck, and then they go up to basically there's early birds, and then you can get one for $7. You can get two decks for £12. Sorry, £12, I want to know, not dollars, sorry. Um, so basically, you're paying about $16 for two decks, um, so which isn't too bad if it's been by USB-CC, um, but it's the colour and as well and the foil, the, like, the metallic ink that it says it's going to have, um, which I'm looking forward to. Obviously, it is a very simple deck, and there is a few risks with the campaign, but um, there always is risks. It's metallic inks. The guy who's made it is under his dad's name anyway, um, and the problem is, I don't know, maybe because he's 16 possibly, but I made my deck when I was under the age of 18, and it did well, so I think this is no reason why he can't do well on this one. Check it out, I'll leave the link in the description below, but this is my review. If you guys like this kind of raw style, let me know. Or if you don't want me to do 365 days and you want me to go back to the original way I do it, just comment down below, I will be doing my next video in the studio, uh, or my bedroom. But I just couldn't set it up because I'm in a rush and I have to go out today. Um, but yeah, so let me know, comment down below, what did you think, and we'll see you guys next time. See you then, goodbye. Look, 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 you ain't leveling me.